right? We're continuing to work through differential equation, AP review. FRQs here, uh, number three, non-calculator. At the beginning of 2010, a landfill containing 1,400 ton tons of solid waste. Uh, the increasing function W models the total amount of waste solid stored at the landfill. Planners estimate that W will this function W will satisfy the differential equation. Uh, dW over dt is equal to 1 25th W minus 300 for the next 20 years. W the function W is measured in tons and T is measured in years starting uh, from 2010. Part A says use the line tangent to the graph at W of W at T equals zero to approximate the amount of waste that the landfill contains at the end of the first three months. So T is one fourth, so this is a quarter of the year, first quarter of the year. Uh, for part A, if we want to find the tangent line, we have to first find the slope. To find the slope, we need to find uh, the derivative equation. But we have the derivative equation, right? We have dW dt, so we can use this to find um, the, the rate of change or the slope that we need at t equals one fourth. So at t equals one fourth, um, let's see here. Sorry, at t equals zero, uh, we're going to find the equation line at t equals zero, and then use the tangent line equation to figure out our approximation three months in. So at t equals zero, our order pair is going to be zero, 1400. And then we're going to use this to find our slope. Uh, our dWdt requires the, uh, the amount of waste at time t equals zero. So the amount of waste at time t equals zero is 1400 tons. Plug 1400 in for w. We clean this up, 1400 minus 300. Um, uh, multiply, uh, subtract, divide by 25, and we get 44 tons, uh, the rate of change is at t equals zero, um, the rate of change of this of the waste is increasing at 44 tons per year. So that's our slope. There's our point. There's point slope form. Uh, maybe to make it so that I'm using in terms of t and w, I can say w minus w1 is equal to m times t minus t1. Replace t1 and w1 with zero and 1400. Replace m with 44 and then we can just solve for w. Okay, 44t plus 1400, this is the equation that will help us approximate uh, the amount of waste uh, at every um, point of the, the year. So at one fourth of the, of the year, which is three months in, we can approximate there to be uh, 44 times one fourth plus 1400, so uh, 1,411 tons of waste uh, and three months in. For part B, find D2W over DT2. So we're going to find the second derivative equation in terms of W. So to do that, we have to find our second derivative uh, function. We have to start with the first derivative, which is DW DT. I'm going to go ahead and just uh, distribute the 125th through. So 125th W minus 125th times 300. So I'm going to find the derivative. dW dt becomes dt, d2w over dt2. 1 25th w becomes 1 25th. w becomes 1, but because uh, we're finding the derivative with respect to time, w becomes dW dt. And then the constant goes to 0. Okay. We'll go ahead and replace dW dt back in terms of w. So 1 over 25th times w minus 300. Multiply this out, we get 1 over 625, w minus 300. So we know that w starts at 1400. And if, you, if we look at the beginning of the problem, it says this function is always increasing. So it starts at 1400 uh, tons, and it's just going to keep increasing. It's never going to decrease. So knowing that, we know that uh, no matter what value uh, w gets entered in, because it's always greater than or equal to 1,400, we know that the second derivative value is always going to be greater than 0. So if it's greater than 0, that means our um, W of t equation is always concave up. 
And if the graph is concave up, then this is what the graph could look like. And if our graph is concave up, our linear approximation, uh, that is the line that's tangent to the curve, is always going to sit nicely below the curve, which means any approximation that we mo make with uh, the, the line, the linear um, equation, is always going to produce an under approximation or an underestimation of the actual value on the curve. Okay, part C, we're going to be solving this differential equation. So we're going to uh, find the particular solution given this equation. Uh, rather than distributing the 125th through, I'm going to put this out, put this 25 under this parentheses, make it a fraction. I like to get two fractions going. Uh, makes it easier to cross multiply and, and then to be able to um, separate as variables. So dwdt equals w minus 300 over 25. Here's my cross multiplication. I get 25 dw is equal to w minus 300 times dt. So now let's look. We want all the dependent variable values on the left side, all the uh, independent variable involving with t, and any coefficients. Let's go ahead and put on the right side. So I'll divide the w minus 300 over. I'm going to also move this 25 over to the right side. Uh, go ahead and take the antiderivative of both sides of the equation. I'll go ahead and let the u value be w minus 300. du over dw is equal to 1. dw equals du. So I'm going to make my substitutions here. dw gets replaced with du. w minus 300 becomes uh, u value, becomes variable u. Take the antiderivative. The right side, I can push that 1 over 25 out as a coefficient. Put a 1 in front of dt as a reminder that when I take the antiderivative, that 1 is going to turn into a t. The left side, cleanly, uh, going to match up nicely with the rule that we already have, which is integral of 1 over u du, natural log absolute value of u. The right side, integral of 1 becomes t, the 1 25th tags along, 1 25th t plus c. Uh, replace the u back in terms of w, w minus 300. Now I have my general equation. I'm going to go ahead and try to solve for w, uh, get that natural log out of the way by raising both sides with base e. That will take out that natural log on the left side. We're left with absolute value of w minus 300. The right side becomes e to the 1 25th t. Now this plus c, if I bring that down, it's going to become a multiplication because e to the a plus b is equal to e to the a times e to the b. And the, way we, the reason why we want to do that is we want to represent that c by bringing that down. e to the c is going to be just a constant. We can think of it as a constant times this uh, value with a variable in it. So push that c out in front. Now I have my general equation. I add 300 to both sides. So I'm now ready to solve for c. I'll go ahead and plug 0 in for t, 1400 in for w, and see if we can get c by itself. Let's see if we can solve for c. So 1400 is equal to c e to the 0, right? 125 times 0 is going to be 0. e to the 0 is just going to be 1, so I get c plus 300 equals 1400. Subtract 300 from both sides, we get c equals 1100. I have my c uh, value found, so we can now convert our general equation to a specific equation, specific solution, replace C with 1100. So here's my specific equation that represents um, W of T, which will tell us the waste at any time uh, in years.